A big welcome to all the aspirants out there. I'm back with a new video about the Cognizant interview experience. So before that, there's an update from the Cognizant that the result will be declared in batch wise. Like if you observe here, this candidate had given their exam on 6th March and on 15th, they got an update about the interview. So one thing is for sure that there is no much time for the preparation of interview. So instead of wasting time, in waiting for the result just focus on your preparation and start your preparation as soon as possible so her educational background is a bsc and exam date 6 to march so the interview duration was around 20 minutes now let's start uh, diving into our today's video before that if you are not yet subscribed subscribe to my channel and uh, i'll be put putting more interesting and useful videos and let me tell you the fact that one can frame one's own interview. I have already told this in my previous videos, but I'm emphasizing it again because this is important. Because it our interview depends on the type of kind of answers we answer. Like uh, it depends on the way we answer, and also the cross questioning will be there from the interviewer side. So uh, I can say that our questions depend on our previous answer. Simply in one line, I can put it. The interview was started with a conventional way of greeting each other and then he started asking questions. So, but uh, basically the first question will be a self introduction or introduce yourself. So some interviewers might might skip this question because your resume will be with them. But anyhow, I strictly recommend you guys to prioritize what to say, what to tell in the introduction part. Like you should know, I mean, you should be confidently telling about yourself introduce yourself and the first question was why IT industry like you can frame your own answer but you may say that you are passionate to work in the software industry you are ready to take up the daily I mean take, take up the challenges in the IT industry and contribute towards the development of IT I mean in this way you can answer one of the approaches I'm letting you know and then which programming language you are good at like it's up to you you should be selecting one of the languages so one thing is for sure that most of your question, technical question will be dependent on the language you are going to select. Then the candidate is asked, why do we use loops and how? Basically, we use uh, loops in order to avoid code repetition in any language. We can just write the code once and we can use the code as many times as we want. So this is the concept of looping in any language. But how, how can we perform looping? So there are different kinds of, I mean, different ways of it. We can use for loop or while loop or do while loop. So the difference between these three is for loop and while loop are the pre-test loop, whereas the do while loop is a post-test loop. So if the condition is failed, the for loop and while loop will not be executed. But even if the condition is failed, our do while loop will be executed at least one, one time. So let me tell you that. So let's consider for loop for initially i equals zero i less than some a i plus plus so these three parts of the any code is very important like any loop is important because it is called the initialization part declaring an integer and initializing it and then comes condition part and finally updation so each of these is having its own significance like initialization of uh, the variable is required of course and then comes the condition so only if the condition is uh, true or false depending upon that the loop will be running and finally the updation part where the the i mean number of iterations like uh, will be updated based on the variable value still i mean we can discuss a lot about the looping but i am restricting the discussion until here and then comes a very basic question was asked like difference between if else and else if cases so if else cases whenever we are having only two possibilities for a uh, like uh, for the logic like if something has to uh, happen when the condition is true we use if and we write the code inside the if case and if the condition is failed we need to execute uh, some different part of the code so that part of the code will be written in the else block so whenever there are only two possibilities we use if else but there are multiple possibilities like if one of the condition is true we mentioned the particular code in the if block and in else if block there is a different condition and we mentioned the that part of the code in this block and there are multiple blocks like 
multiple possibilities and finally the last part will be written in the else block so if else if else if else finally the it will be having else case so if our only two cases two possibilities we use to else if if else so when the number of possibilities is greater than two we use else if cases as the candidate has selected python as a programming language like a comfortable programming language so most of the technical questions are based on it so guys just be careful while selecting the programming language when asked so definitely most uh, the technical will questions will be based on that only so where python is used this candidate was asked so basically python is a programming language we use it for several applications like web development software development even in image processing we use python image processing applications and also all the artificial intelligence machine learning we use python and business applications we may build using python so just uh, you can there are of course there are a lot of application just you can list out some of them and then the oops concepts are asked so i have been repeatedly em uh, emphasizing the significance of oops concept in an interview so this is one of the most anticipated questions in whatever the interview so before appearing for an interview you, just, you should be very perfect with the concepts of oops like abstraction encapsulation polymorphism and inheritance so he might ask you to explain any one of the concepts or else he might ask you some definitions related to oops so whatever the question may be just you need to be very well prepared with the these concepts moving on this candidate was asked a logical question so the most important thing here to focus is especially in the cognitive interviews either you may be asked a aptitude question or a logical question so one of these two is for sure so you guys better prepare for these kind of questions too in an interview and here comes the question two blanks are given we need to fill it with the letters and u p and e are containing in the word so we need to the candidate has to find the word the first clue was the interview gave only one clue initially it was a data type like a, it's a data type but the candidate failed to answer it and hence clue second clue was given data type in python so by seeing this word in python the candidate had answered like tuple tuple is the answer it's a data type in python so basically it's uh, different from the list like uh, similar to list but the only difference is it is unchangeable like we cannot change the elements of a tuple so finally uh, i would like to tell you guys that in these days uh, this has become a trend that most of the interviews are containing the aptitude questions too so you can't uh, neglect this in an interview moving on the technical part of the interview was done then he started posing some general questions firstly he was asked what are the languages you can speak so it's enough that if you are able to speak english and any one of the regional languages so be genuine while answering and no interviewer will expect you to speak multiple languages and suppose that you have told him that you are uh, from a regional background of telugu and he may ask you that how do you manage if you are relocated to relocated to some different location so you are from telugu but you are relocated to some northern region how can you manage so he just wanted to twist you with this question like he wanted to see your response like uh, how do you approach to this question like all it requires to answer some these kind of general questions is that a little bit of spontaneity and some good communication skills so you can answer in your own way but i can say one one of the approaches like you better say that uh, i make use of google translator apps and also i try to make some friends or uh, uh, colleagues who belong to that particular locality or region so i learn some basic terminology in my day to day life from them so in this way i can manage even if i am relocated to any location across the india and finally he uh, this candidate was asked to whether they wanted to work with any specific domain so i i can say one thing that never say that you are open to work with any domain because uh, it's like an inability to choose one so better just go with any one of the domain like uh, uh, i am good at java so i think i can perform better if i am allocated this domain or like you can say python or anything of your interest or your choice 
so finally the interview was done so guys if you are not yet subscribed subscribe to my channel let's crack it and i'll be putting more content which will be useful and let you get placed